Hey everybody, Jamin Jackson. Gina Bradford. And we are back to show you the art of following. It's going to be super exciting. Are you excited about this? I really am. I think this is an area a lot of times that as followers we feel that our role is not really appreciated that much and sometimes we're not really even sure what we're supposed to be doing out there than just be drug around the dance floor. <laughs> hey, we're not that bad. <laughs> well, it just feels that way sometimes. So we're really excited to share with you how important the role of following really is. And so this is going to be an in-depth class we're going to be taking step by step helping you see how you function as a follow different areas that you may be unaware of that can help you grow in your following skills and also some of the areas that kind of are in that gray area where you have a lot of options on how you might want to be able to do your own version of following well let's just take a look here at some of the specifics because the devil's in the details oh, yes. right? and i gotta get into the details so some of these things that we're going to be covering are the four pillars like if you know these four concepts not just know them, but if you can get them into your body and do them, you've mastered the dance. This is really hard to understand, but if you get it, you've mastered it. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to get into the area of body control. We're going to be covering the boat exercise, um, extension parameters within your own body. That basically will encompass stretching and matching. Uh, we'll also get into personal rhythm in your own body. That's really important, isn't it? Right. You have to have that first and foremost. We're also going to get into styling because who doesn't want to do swivels, right? Uh, we also are going to talk about the priorities of styling versus following and how you can consolidate both of those. Uh, we're going to get into some good and bad examples of that, but we're also going to get into the gray areas. Now, these gray areas are those areas of like, uh, you know, how do I match my partner's like elasticity in their body? They right. feel a little bit more rigid than me or fluid, fluid than me. Like, is that good or is it bad? We're going to get into that. What do you think about that? I know that's a big subject a lot of followers are talking about. Yeah, I mean, the more you're going to progress in your following skills, the more there's going to be things that you're going to be reaching to stretch yourself in. So the point of this class is to start from the most fundamental things about following the four pillars on up to much more advanced things. But the great part about this class is that at you, whether what level that you're at, you're going to get kind of a full scope of what it means to be a follow and how you're going to function. And we're excited to share with you some great techniques and practices that are going to help you no matter what your level is to continue improving your follow skills. Sign me up. I want to follow. See you guys in class.